what a beautiful day. All right, according to Amazon, <laughs> some of our packages are here. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Okay, all right. Some of this is going to be my recording gear for Taiwan. So um, time to bring it inside and see what we've got. Okay guys, this is going to be kind of just one of those little rambly update vlogs on the vlog channel because I have so much I want to tell you guys about. And there is a lot happening behind the scenes, which is really just in my daily life. And I've been meaning to share more vlogs with you and I have all of these vlogs like clustered up that need sorted. I have still the trip from Kansas City with my sister at the zoo. There's a few more days of that that I need to put out. And then of course I have the Hawaii trip, which by now I really would have thought I would have put out and then I've been vlogging a little bit behind the scenes for the beauty of spring and how much I absolutely adore spring and then the wildlife that are here and I really want to start going on walks in the forest and showing you all of the greenery and the plants and the birds and everything that's been showing up and as usual with so much to do everywhere in both of our channels and in real life and then my health being annoying lately and getting sick now and then everything is just sort of a gigantic pile and a mess right now and i'm tired of sitting here and going oh all of this really cool stuff is happening behind the scenes and i want to share it with everybody oh but i haven't even put out the hawaii vlogs from february yet i really i should wait until i get those done before i tell you guys about the thing that's happening right now right well, I'm tired of that. So over the next couple months, you're probably going to see a lot of that vlog backlog come out a little bit out of order. I'll try to keep the trips kind of like tidied together, like finish up the Kansas City trip. I had to visit my family for my brother's wedding and then move in to the Hawaii trip. Uh, but I actually have another trip coming up next week and then an even bigger trip coming up at the end of May, which is going to be amazing because that's the Taiwan trip. And I want to tell you guys about the stuff that's happening leading up to that trip now. So yeah, apologies. This is gonna be a little messy. I'm really committed to trying to start jumping in and vlogging the behind the scenes stuff and daily greenery and cheerful things here on the vlog channel. And it's so much fun because I feel like our vlog community has a very personal connection because this is about me. And you guys get to see all of the stuff that I'm working on for the main channel here. You get to learn more about my birds, my family, my animals, my hopes, my dreams, my inspiration. Hopefully inspire you guys too. And I love that about the vlog channel, but it's gonna be a little messy because I don't know how to really vlog yet. I know how to kind of make some hopefully semi good let's play videos, but vlogging is a whole nother beast I'm finding and I'm figuring out like my pacing and the style for how to make them um, while still keeping that genuine authenticity that is oh so important because really this is for me to have that connection. I, that's all I want out of the vlog channel. <laughs> So that and being able to record the adventure. So yeah, it's gonna be rambly now and then. It's gonna be a little out of order, um, but I am trying. It's fun. I will say like kind of a Siri behind the scenes thing, I guess, is that vlogging is very different from doing Let's Play videos uh, and figuring out how to be able, for me, it's not what could get the most views, what angle, is everything okay in the background of uh, the current video? Did I line everything up right? I did put the flowers where you guys could see them. My beautiful flowers from Chips. And you can kind of see Rowlet. Rowlet, come say hi. Hiding over here too. Hi, Rowlet, yeah. So, you know, I'm not really spending time thinking about those things, but it's really refreshing to have lots of creative projects going on that aren't just making my Let's Play videos I'm finding. Thanks Hawaii and thanks all of you amazing people who have been telling me, Siri, you need to take some time for yourself because um, the last four years, um, really the last probably two and a half to three years have been pretty much 17 hours a day usually more, sometimes less, uh, of work on the main channel for making Let's Play videos. And I am really proud because we're going to be hitting 5,000 videos on the Let's Play channel soon. And that's really awesome. But grinding that hard, that long on work, um, a lot of people are always warning me about like getting burned out. And I always think 
what is burnout? Like I just keep going and keep going. And then it hit me that I always thought burnout was when you had no more desire or no more passion to create something new. And I always have the desire and the hope to like make more things. Like if you have no more ideas, that's what I thought burnout was. And I always have ideas. I have notebooks full of ideas all over the place. And I'm always eager to make more adventures on the Let's Play channel and ideas for adventures to take you guys on in real life. But I thought that's what being burned out was. And it turns out in my life, being burned out, and I think I actually, see what I mean about not really thinking about uh, the professionalism of the camera there, just talking to you guys. I had it at a tilt, so hi guys. <laughs> but um, for me, burnout is actually being too drained to, to follow through on your motivation. Uh, it's not even like you're physically too tired. It's not like you don't have the ideas or the desire. It's just like there's this missing spark and this is where like my nursing background is going to kick in because it's the only way I can think to explain this where you can't get the connection between two synapses little nodes sent to each other. It's like there's a little jump of energy, electricity that's supposed to hop from this one to this one and go choing, and you have the command shared and then you perform an action, move your arm, blink your eyes. It's like that is missing when I get burned out. I may have the physical energy, um, I may have the emotional desire, but there's just for some reason those two signals won't go to each other when I get burned out. And so I discovered that um, pretty recently, probably at the beginning of the year when I was going through another bout of seasonal affective disorder and I was feeling really like, oh, this can't happen on top of like losing the oomph that I need, whatever the oomph is. And I always interpreted burnout oomph as like, oh, you ran out of ideas or you don't wanna do something anymore. And that wasn't the case for me at least. And it hit me that's what my burnout is. And as soon as I found that out, I started dabbling in things that everybody says is supposed to help you with burnout. Going on more walks, reading more books just because, um, playing some games in the background that I never record, which honestly in this case is literally just two dots on my phone. Um, but man, I can relax for a long time with that game. Or Bejeweled, I actually play a lot of two dots and Bejeweled to just chill. Uh, so I figured that out for my burnout and it helps a lot. And as the months have gone by, I've started to identify when that starts easier so that I just don't suddenly have weeks where uh, for three days for unknown reasons, not even my health being a bit of a brat and bothering me like it has been the last couple weeks, uh, but just unknown reasons, just couldn't record. And it's very distressing. It feels like you tell your arm to move and the signal is not sent from your brain to your arm when that happens. So for my creative burnout prevention program, spring arriving with those beautiful things to walk in is definitely helping. It's like instant excitement, just whoosh, instant energy in my entire body. But I've learned to do more creative projects. Uh, I don't really know how I got here, but that's why I was telling you guys I'm trying to branch out uh, in terms of creativity. I'm reading more books. Um, I actually found some of my favorite uh, authors on Patreon that now I'm their patron and you can read little snippets of what they're up to and that's really thrilling. And then I am going to be working on making handmade crafts for the Etsy store as a dual prong way to exercise my creativity, work with my hands, uh, which is very different from making videos for the Let's Play channel. And then, oh, I know how I got here. We're almost there. Okay. Then the other thing is vlogs. Vlogs actually provide a different kind of creative medium for me to play with and to prevent burnout on the main channel. And I think that's really awesome because then I also get to use it as a way to build a more intimate community with those of you who wander over here onto the vlog channel and want to see how things go on just in my life. I can share more like recipes with you guys uh, that I make that are vegan food. Oh, the sun is coming out. It's so beautiful. I can share the adventures I go on. Um, a lot of the vlog stuff will still end up on the main channel for animal related stuff, but maybe you guys are curious, how does a Siri live her daily life? How does she eat vegan? How does she travel to Taiwan out of the country for the very first time? And that's what the vlog channel to me is for. It's a community building thing. It is a creative project. So I just kind of wanted to say that because my goal for it is never for it to like blow up and become a big thing. My Let's Play channel is a big thing. I know 
now having done the let's play channel for so many years when you cross that line from it being just a hobby to being a big thing that you commit yourself to you I wouldn't say I regret it never ever would I say I regret it but there's a shift in the freedom you have to kind of tear everything apart and try something new and to be a little bit less um, strict with yourself in experimenting and in making mistakes and in just doing something rather than worrying about it having to be perfect and when you have like the let's play channel I have to experiment that's really awesome but you kind of move a little bit more carefully it's kind of like you're watching your stuff a little bit more and you're controlling your movements kind of like a nice dance that's a good metaphor for it the let's play channel is like this amazing dance that's just a tiny bit choreographed because uh, I know what works like a good template of like people love warrior cats and things like that but the vlog channel is going to be my sort of freeform dance fun thing and maybe I'll find a pattern that I really love and eventually the vlogs will roll out with that maybe I'll be able to find a message that really means a lot to me that I'll be able to present and share to you guys more often um, but whatever the future of it, I just kind of wanted to tell you guys that so that when I talk about like trying to improve the vlogs, I don't mean trying to make them more popular. I don't mean trying to make the vlog channel a thing. I already have a big thing. It's a very tiring big thing. I don't need two tiring big things if that's the future because I honestly think traveling the world and living as a, a greenery adoring biologist in training, like gaming YouTube, tra world traveling YouTube person is a unique lifestyle and maybe one that people are interested in seeing also I have finches I have a lot of messages that I want to give to you guys about wisdom that I've learned over the years fun projects to share if you guys are anything like me maybe you like having a vlog that you can tune into every day with somebody who you really like and you love seeing what's going on and even the most minute details of their daily life um, I'm always watching eat your kimchi and I'm always watching like Sharla and uh, there's a few other people that I just like honeysuckle oh my gosh and she just posted a video today having her baby and it's just like oh my goodness I can't wait so it's fun I, I'm getting more addicted to vlogs maybe as I get a little bit older and maybe I can have fun with this creative project bringing that to you guys so there's 10 minutes of me rambling about the creative project of the vlogs but that's kind of what this is for and it feels good just to ramble now and then that's totally something I would have never guessed a shy Siri would grow up and love to do but here we are and maybe that's a lesson for people who are also so shy I would cry all the way through high school if somebody I didn't know talked to me I would full body freeze up I would answer them and then I would like walk away and I would start crying because it would have been so just nerve-wracking that somebody I had no idea who they were I didn't know their name this wasn't part of my daily routine just comes up and talks to me I was that cripplingly shy and anxious when I was in high school and here I am just laying it all out for thousands of people to see and possibly not take very nicely and it just it's interesting I never would have thought I would get here so I think that's part of why I also want to share I also really really want to share what I'm doing how I would consider my life right now a joyful success of happiness and and cultivating myself for years and and now I'm really getting to harvest some of the fruits of the hard work I've done over many years and the hard work that I've done um, being lovingly ruthless with my internal self my anxieties my fears um my confidence of the past few years reaching in there and kind of tilling that soil and pulling out the weeds even if it hurt and really trying to plant the seeds of something better every single day that joy journal changed my life i tell you guys that all the time because it did i don't know if i would be talking to you as a siri i don't know if i could look at you and tell you i am ridiculously happy I am grateful for my life I would have never said those things even eight years ago <laughs> my entire early 20s from basically as far back as I can remember um, were just a period of depression and anxiety and fear and stress and strain and not because of my family but because of all the stuff going on in my head and the way that people treated me and I treated myself and so now 
there is part of me that really wants to vlog and force myself to to remember to do it pick up that camera Siri pick it up because I'm wondering if I there's a mini me out there if you're me 10 years ago 20 years ago if you're me five years ago and if by showing you hey I was crippling really depressed all of high school and look at me now I am honestly smiling <laughs> I was leaning out the window with my new wildlife camera trying to pick it take a picture of an adorable chipmunk eating on my deck today and and the, then chips walked in from the room when I went chipmunk and I looked up and here's this guy I fell in love with and I never anticipated that happening I can reassure you and he's standing there and and just the most beautiful eyes and I just got to turn holding my camera with the wild chipmunk in this beautiful spring and happiness and joy in my heart and give him a kiss on the cheek and uh, maybe I'm talking to a mini me out there who will hear those things and hopefully have hope and if you are a mini me though you're saying no nah, that's just because you got lucky and it, so I'm hoping if I keep being consistent about showing you guys the world I live now, how happy I am now, but also the behind the scenes detailed work of like, it takes a little bit of finagling and a lot of grinding to get to where I'm at now. Um, maybe it will provide some hope for some of you. So that's the other big goal of my vlog channel. I told you guys I had some missions and stuff I wanted to tell you. But anyway, there's some other stuff I want to tell you and I actually have to get ready for a thing, a secret thing that's happening uh, later this afternoon and I still need to prepare a little bit more for it. So. <sighs> the fun things that I wanted to tell you guys. Yeah, um, all the pieces for the Taiwan trip have come in. All of them. I'm so thrilled. So quick background, why are we going to Taiwan? Chips, my beloved Chips, who's over in his office across the hall right now, probably finishing up the paper knowing him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's due today too, but yeah, I never said that. Um, oh, he works really hard on it. He works really hard. Uh, he is a Chinese professor. He is a history uh, professor of Chinese and we are going, well he's like getting his PhD now, but he has taught on the professor level before and he's getting his PhD in Chinese history and part of the requirements for that is language mastery in at least three languages and his particular program is asking as many as five or six from him. So the language that we're gonna spend his first year of his PhD program really focusing on is Chinese which means that we are going to be going to a language learning program me, we being him not me I'm just tagging along because that sounds amazing and there were lots of options even local ones here in town that could have been picked but uh, Chips used to live in China for a couple of years as a teacher and he really believes that one of the best ways to learn a language is to immerse yourself with it and this is serious for his program. You have to be absolutely fluent. They test you left and right on your proficiency on not only modern Chinese and conversational Chinese, but historical Chinese and contextual historical Chinese, which are all different things. Very hard. Makes me really grateful I learned Japanese in high school instead. But we're going to Taiwan um, so that he can take part in a two and a half month language learning program. And he will be on campus in Taipei University every single day. I think maybe he has weekends off. And then I'm going to be in our apartment. <laughs> So the I have never traveled outside of the country, but the idea of being apart from each other for two and a half months was really hard. It's why he actually turned down some of the other programs that were either just as good or even better here in the United States. And he's a really good self-learner, so we really feel being surrounded and especially having to bring your gal pal with you and then keep her alive <laughs> in China or in um, Chinese language everywhere with all of Taiwan to explore will probably help him learn quite a bit more. So we're excited to go, but I've never been out of the country. So there were a lot of pieces that had to come together to make this happen. I can go anywhere there's internet, theoretically, for my job, right? As long as I have somewhere to upload YouTube videos, I'm good. Except, you know, my PC Peapod lives here. She's got this gigantic screen, in case you guys didn't know. <laughs> And Peapod is named Peapod. In fact, I think you can see her. Peapod, there you are. That's Peapod, and she's named Peapod because she's small, but heavy still, and it's, you know, a case, a computer case. How are we going to get a computer case in all the way to Taiwan and 
be able to record everything I need there, including the Getty, the arm setup, all of that jazz. So first thing, we found an apartment that has really great internet and that would allow us to be in Taipei and have a really fantastic home. It's got ridiculously amazing ratings on the Airbnb website. The host we've already spoken a lot with and they're absolutely fantastic. So we're super excited about that. It'll be our own little private apartment for the entire time we're there. It has cats that wander across the rooftop and it has a garden full of bamboo and ferns on it's a rooftop apartment on the rooftop and it's so cool it's been a really small quaint older part of town but it, it just every time someone leaves a review it's like across the marks perfect and they've been just so amazingly kind so we found the apartment and we're really excited it has internet can't take peapod so this came yesterday <laughs> Meet Lilypad. <laughs> this is Lilypad, my new computer. It is not actually like a Lilypad brand or anything. I actually don't know what brand it is. Chips. Oh, it's an Asus. Asus model GL702V. And it's basically even more powerful than Peapod. This is now the most powerful computer we have in the house. We've got like five computers, one of which is the laptop I started my Let's Play channel on that spits out smoke when you boot it up now. So I think we're going to have to probably throw that away. I hate to do that. Normally I will like clean my electronics and send them to my family so they have the tool to use. But I, I just worry like like if someone turned it on, it's gonna catch fire and I don't want a fire to start in my parents' house with my mom on oxygen, not good. So anyway, most powerful computer in the entire entire house right now, meet Lilypad. I was teasing Chips and being like, it looks like, it looks like a Mega League Gamer computer. I want it to be cuter. And so he laughed and said that cute isn't a selling tactic. But I'm actually thinking about uh, starting to do a lot of merch in the Etsy shop and I'm building a website that we can possibly sell uh, main channel merch on. And some of that is commissioning some of the amazing fan artists that we've worked with before or reaching out for new artists or even commissioning my mom who is a fantastic artist and getting stickers. And so I wanna cover Lilypad with stickers, but this was, one of the biggest secret keys to being able to go to Taiwan. If I didn't have a way to make videos for you guys, I couldn't go. So I had to get this laptop. And this laptop is powerful enough to record everything that we currently are running, all of the games I wanna run in the summer. And it's light and easy enough to transport that I can go. It fits in my backpack. All I have to do is put it in my backpack. I got a new Blue Yeti because I did something really dumb and threw the base away on the one that you see behind the flowers. But I have a new Blue Yeti, this one in black. This is my traveling Blue Yeti, and it will go with me when we travel so that I can record anywhere. So between the Yeti and the laptop, I have the tools I need, and I'm gonna cry because it makes me so relieved, to take the Let's Play channel and the vlogging channel anywhere in the world. And it's really funny because until I got the laptop in my hands and I was crying because I was so relieved and happy and excited, yesterday it didn't occur to me till that moment that by having the microphone and having the laptop, if something happens to my parents now, which has happened in the last few years, um, I don't have to just drop everything and be living in terror of what will happen because I didn't upload anything on the YouTube channel. I can take it with me and I, at night after I have visited them in the hospital or if anything like that happened, uh, which happens about once or twice a year in my family, to be honest, then I could stay there and help and I wouldn't have this sick feeling of trying to maintain happiness and excitement for the main channel knowing I'm not even there to help and that made me so relieved. I'm gonna cry again if I think about it. But that was one of the biggest keys for how to get to Taiwan while managing YouTube channels and leave for two and a half months. The birds have their birdie babysitter who I've already checked with and she's totally cool with taking care of them. But yeah, I, I am so relieved guys. And I'm so happy and I'm so thankful because it was you guys sharing time on the main channel that has made this possible. Oh my goodness. But I have to talk about the whole 
ad issues and uh, other things I'm planning because it's been looking really bad the last month. But this was the result of saving up for the last few months, ever since we knew that we were going to Taiwan. And I'm so relieved because it means that I can take you guys with me and actually keep up all of the series we're cur currently running and hopefully be able to even start some new fun ones and definitely show a ton of Taiwan, uh, especially over here on the vlog channel. But yeah, this is a really rambly vlog and I'm still going. I need to stop soon. In fact, my camera was like, I'm stopping soon. I don't know what you're talking about. So sorry about that, guys. I just went all over the place. But like I said, there's so much going on and there's a lot of thoughts I'm having. And sometimes it's just nice to kind of ramble dump them. And that's what this is for. This is for just having fun and a creative exercise in a community building place uh, here on the vlog channel. But it's going to get really good, I promise. But okay, so right, we have a place to stay. We have bird babysitters. We have a laptop and the recording ability so I can take the let's play channel and the vlogging with us anywhere and what else do we need to be able to go to taiwan well i kind of needed this <laughs> i have my passport i can't show you guys the inside but i have my passport so i finally 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 have my passport and uh, even definitely five years ago i would have never guessed that i shy siri would have not only the the ability but the desire well i definitely probably always had the desire but would actually have the abilities all of the abilities needed uh in terms of tools and resources to go travel the world and with this in my hands i can do it and i don't know does anyone else cry when you get your passport and you realize that the whole world is open to you in ways that you really thought were always beyond your reach because i definitely i'm tearing up again but here it is, the very last key piece needed that also came just a couple days ago to actually do it, you guys. Actually go, to actually travel, to take you with me. <laughs> so I'm really, really pumped. Um, and I just, I just wanted to kind of share all of that with you. Plans, things that are going on in the background, that it's happening. The tools and the resources are coming together. And it did hit me when I was holding Lilypad in my lap last night and Chips was laughing at me because I was crying because I was so happy. He's gotten used to it. <laughs> but it did hit me that with this, I really could go anywhere. I could record videos at night in the hotel uh, if Chips and I wanted to go on an impromptu trip somewhere together and enjoy our youth and our health while we have it because a lot of you guys know I'm always worried that my health is going to tank in the next few years just like it did for my mother and my grandmother and many of my aunties and cousins um, who also have lupus. and. I want to live it up brightly and loudly while I can, you know? And maybe that'll be forever. Maybe I won't, but I know this way I won't have any regrets. And knowing that this could open up the avenue to travel and share everything with you guys, like that day maybe, depending on how good the internet is, at the very least I can record on those like down times in the hotel room if i've got energy i could bring my ds with me and record story of seasons or i could record some minecraft if the internet connection is strong enough or i could record some horse haven if i have the app program downloaded on lap like lily pad here and and i could edit the vlogs the same day i i make them in in that downtime and it's just a huge relief and it also is a huge relief to know that now not only can i adventure so I can really live these years while I have the resources and the health to the fullest of my ability, but also that if something should happen to my family or if, if the dreams that Chips and I have of just exploring the world are going to, to come up, then I can take care of it. I have the mobile recording system tools put together now and I have the keys to be able to go anywhere and I want to go places. I'm going to continue to diligently save um, a big benefit of not having any cable or any like reoccurring bills beyond your rent and like fees for hosting stuff for the channel. <laughs> I work very hard to keep my bills down <laughs> and I even gave away my car. Do you guys remember when I donated my car last year? Um, man, but a big perk of that is that Chips and I will hopefully be able to travel a lot more. And now that I have these tools, I feel really good about trying to do that because I want to show you guys how beautiful this world is through my eyes and the way I see it and the way I discover it and adventure and, and want to just partake in it 
and I'm really looking forward to that. So on that note, um, this has been very rambly, but it usually is, right guys? <laughs> but on that note, yeah, so Lilypad, I can do this. I am really proud that I have gathered up these resources because I'm committed to trying to do the best I can for both our channels and for our community and for the missions I have that go a lot deeper than just seeing our YouTube channel for the Let's Plays continue to grow and develop. They go into the depth of wanting to show you guys the beauty of the world from my point of view because not many people get as excited as I do and I think that's because they hide it. I think most people really could be as excited as I am about plants and animals and just a pretty tree or a nice day or, or just a warm cup of peach tea but they feel like like they have to hold themselves back and kind of check themselves in because oh people will think I'm silly if I'm not excited so that's one of the other reasons I love doing these vlogs just to show you guys I cried because I got a passport cool legal documentation made me cry <laughs> but I see what it represents and I want to share that with you guys um so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm rambling now and I do have a very special thing I have to get ready to do in a couple hours so I'll let you guys go but yeah I I'm gonna do it. I'm really proud. I hope maybe this will inspire some of you who have been trying to work on a huge project to take the steps because even just a few months ago being able to afford and put together the gear for traveling like this would have been uh, something that I would have put off for a while because it felt like a lot to cope with or a lot to deal with and now that I have it it's like a key has turned in my heart and I realize what it does for being able to adventure now like the ability to adventure is there deeper and richer than it's ever been in my life and that means I can share those with you guys and that truly is something that means everything to me so enough rambling I've got work to do and I hope whatever it is passports laptops nice camera good shoes just maybe like a bus pass <laughs> that you guys need to be able to go and find your own adventures I hope that you can take the steps to try to get there because I can promise you after months of having worked really hard to get to this point, it's really worth it. So, <laughs> oh, and then we do have another adventure coming up, but I'll tell you guys about that maybe tomorrow. I think that'll be fun to share a different day because I talked about so many other things today. But let's just say we're going to be testing Lilypad out sooner than later. So I'll tell you guys more details about that next time. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye guys. <laughs>